history makers, Energy All-Ireland Junior Cup champions. You're a happy man right now. Talk to me. Uh, I'm ecstatic. Uh, it was a, uh, it was, the match itself was pure torment. Just uh, waiting until we could try and play. But Bally Clare read the way we play. They took a lot of our, our big big players out of the game by shoot defenders. But thank goodness we stuck at it. They said at half time, boys, just um, be patient and the things will come and they'll work our way in. Thank goodness it took a long time and my heart's not good, but we got there in the end. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's fair to say everyone would have predicted a tight game. That's about as tight as it comes. Yeah, that's um, yeah. It was always going to be very tight. Obviously, the last two games we won score games, and um, for Paul, the captain, to kick that uh, pressure penalty at the end was superb in the, in the ten meter line. So uh, it's a big pitch and it's a lot of yards there. Yeah, it was under pressure it was a super super kick. First time champions, not first time finalists. Any of the elder lemons uh, still around from the last time you featured in this decider? Yes, certainly. Uh, there's there's eight of them on the squad. Unfortunately, they all didn't get on, but. Um, yeah, and they're they're very happy boys, as is the young boys. So uh, it's super for them. Uh, they had the in 2014 lost it by a point, and um, yeah, and it took it takes a long time to get back here, and it's it's no it's no given that you'll just get back the next year. So to wait eight years and get back here is superb, and, and have that many boys in the squad still. So it's great. Yeah, good. you have every right to celebrate this one. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, we're, yeah, <laughs> we're we're pushing the league, and we don't want to let it slip either. So. Um, but we definitely will enjoy this for a couple of days, definitely. Paul, a, a final for the ages, as tight as they come. Testament to both teams and indeed the venue here in Kingspan Stadium. What was it like being out there? Oh, I don't know even what to say, to be honest. It's, it's class, like, excitement all week, all month to get out there and then to come out and panic like we did for 70 minutes. Just, I thought, I was starting to think of the stage, it was, it was gone. And then all of a sudden, we came alive, got our try and just... Nearly felt like it was going to come home, and thankfully it did. So It took some real composure and a lot of bravery to be the one standing over the chance to win that trophy for the whole community. I believe it was yourself up to the kick and tee. Yeah, it was, and I was cramping like mad too. And I got a scratch as a guy, just sat and blanked out the nerves and blanked out the crowd and just repeated the rhythm. And thankfully it just came off with a bit of metre to spare. So. Got there. Can you talk to me about the community that this club resents, re represents? Literally up here by the busload to support you. Oh, it's um, it's unbelievable. Like it's from right from the day we got here, you know, it was so hard to play games up to now with the amount of excitement and started off a of one bus to two to ten or whatever it was. It was just unbelievable. From everybody you met in the shop on the street it was just all, you know, we're all one big unit. Like. Uh, and just to, to finish out, obviously you're a team like one or two lads like yourself still going from the last time you made this final. Bunch of young fellas in here for memories that she will never ever forget. No, definitely not. Like I was 18 the day I played in the last one and my first year in senior rugby and it was it was unbelievable and to get another chance and to do it is just don't know what to say. Anymore.